What up, it's your girl Midtown Mal. I'm here with G. Watts for Dementia Magazine. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Glad to do it. Um, so, you recently dropped a new project, 1990 Never. Mm -hmm. Very well received. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, and you actually just left the studio to come be here with us. What can we expect next from you? Just keeping on. So, I don't got no videos out for 1990 Never. So, what I plan on doing is um, continuing to promote this little city with uh, videos and visual content and stuff like that running some merchandising lines along with it, just to keep that thing going. Uh, and depending on how life play out, I got a new city that I found dropping in like July. Worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario, I'm gonna do that. So if everything goes the way that it should go, you know, we just keep on pushing this out, chugging along, seeing what it can do. Cause like you said, it's been well received and people like it a lot more than I expected. So. You know, keep it with it. Um, if you weren't independent, what would be, you know, your dream label or crew that you'd be signed? Like, ideally, I mean, like I said, I fuck with Jay-Z, so it might be like to be with Jay-Z, because he's Jay-Z. Um, I'd love to be with Kanye, because I say he's like the hardest producer. Uh, I'd love to be with TDE, because Kendrick is a real one. And it seemed like everybody in that camp is, and I love real people. Um, I be with, yeah, them three is my idea. Was no fake in the phone. Those three, but uh, I'm humble. I go wherever the money at. You know what I'm saying? And if money isn't staying independent, then for sure we will keep doing that because I know how the game can be played. Okay. Um, kind of shift the focus off the music here for a little bit. Do you have any hidden or secret talents that you could share with us? Secret? He said basketball. I don't think that's really a secret, man. <laughs> Everybody knew what time it was on the court. He said boxing. I would. I used to box back in the day, but uh, it's some real shit that gotta be out here. That I'm nice at, that I can say is dope and saying some sports. Niggas ain't just pack mules. You feel me? Uh, oh, the hits. Asiatic Aboriginal, baby, God sent them. That is a gift. And so that's, you know, that not everybody might know. That it's okay. like, like that, you know? Fair enough. Hey. Uh, now, what is your favorite venue or event, maybe, that's held annually in Kansas City? Favorite event that's held in Kansas Or Kansas. just your favorite venue, or favorite to rock, venue. whatever. Well, I have love for the people at the Star Bar. I'll say that. And I got love for the people at the Granada because we've done plenty of business in the future. I mean, in the past, and we continue to do business. It's all about money <laughs> talking. Um, so I love those places because they show love to me. Um, and then as far as annual shit that we do here, I really don't think we do nothing annually outside of party, maybe. We don't have a music festival. We don't have like a come together of just the people being cool with each other. Like that bossy shit on the plaza, that art shit, that's corny. We need some real shit for just normal people to come through and enjoy themselves. A carnival affair, something, but we don't have nothing. We used to back in the day, but you know, right now our shit is stagnant, so. <laughs> uh, what is your dream car? <clears throat> You want to know something? Yes. <laughs> this is how we give it up in the one track. Like what I do, like every night, I hop on the computer and I'm like, this is what my deal is going to be worth. This is what I'm going to cop with this, that. And I take this shit all the way up to like 10 years from now. So on the real, nigga got my starter home. I got my little hat, like crib that we chilling in while we the nigga. And then, because <laughs> we, we building something, this light. So we chilling in something while we nigga can't get a starter okay. home. You feel me? So sure. we build the castle, and then I got the whips that I'm having the castle, the, the chilling home and the starter. And then I got my shit that we gonna have for the uh, coast, cause you know, <laughs> you <gotta have> the <laughs> top down in the winter, that's what winter's right. doing. You feel me? You gotta go to the L LA, you know, when it start getting yeah, cold. Yeah, nobody's messing with these Kansas City winters. You feel me? So we got my crib in Long Beach, and I got all the whips for that. So. <laughs> 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 my dream with the, with the 
the starter. I did the starter when we had the starter. Honey, we're going to cop the little Porsche Panamera, right? That's going to be my flyer switch. Then when we go to the crib where we chilling as the nigga, the fly, it got like these diamond encrusted ceilings. But it's not, not really. So it's like when you drive and it look like the stars, it's like, ooh, like gummy, right? I need that. Then when we got the castle, when the castle's complete, that Bugatti. <laughs> At, or, the, or the Maybach Landerlock, even though they stopped building them, they did continue Maybachs, but that motherfucker hard. Or the Rolls Royce Sprinter truck. It's like an apartment on wheels. <laughs> it's the lightest of the light. So when I have my castle, that's what we cop. And then when I go out to Long Beach and I get my shit out there, I want an old Rolls Royce Kanish. Kanish, however you pronounce them. But yup, no head on it. All white seats. Yeah. All white, like I got the whole thing, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Then we gonna get a jet, little yacht, maybe. Because I gotta come back and forth because I wanna have schools too. I wanna have schools. And so I gotta check in on them. I wanna be like the principal, but not the principal, but I still gotta see what's cracking because education is the main thing. I'll just be rambling, you feel me? But it's light because y'all can chop and use the best shit. There you go. And then when a nigga get cracky, we can release the whole thing and it's really <laughs> like motherfucking meal tickets. <laughs> yeah, and then when I die, you fuck around and have a movie. <laughs> In a lot of schools, um, music, music education is basically non existent or very little. Is that something that you plan on focusing on? Music education? Yes. Possibly, but really what I plan on focusing on. Is agriculture, science, uh, uh, math, and history. That's what I want to specialize in. But of course, you'll have all the other shit, but definitely those things. Agriculture, because our food is getting fucked up daily. So you gotta learn how to grow your own shit. Definitely. You gotta understand the sciences of the earth. You know what I'm saying? So that you can be productive and shit. You gotta know math, because everything is math. Every single thing is math, you know what I'm saying? When you stop in your car and I tell the motherfucker in front of you, it's math. You measuring, you know what I'm saying? Life is math. And then history. Know thyself. You have to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know yourself, you where are you going? If you don't know where you came from, where are you going? Right. And so emphasis on real history because just for me particularly, I remember going up coming to school, hating black history month, dreading it. Like, here we go again. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King, slaves. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, she's a hero because she didn't let people tell her to go to the back of the bus, Rosa. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of hearing that shit. Tired. How in the fuck is that all that I learned about from the time I could learn about history of black people all the way to graduation? Why did I not learn about, they want to talk so bad about slavery, why don't we learn about where them slaves came from? Because we learn about Germany and shit like that and British warfare and Europe shit. So it's not odd that we would learn about shit in Africa. It's not odd because they do it with that other shit. So don't give me even the bullshit that, oh, all we do is American history. We do world history. Right. Why aren't we talking about them pyramids? <clears throat> them motherfuckers is gummy. You know what I'm saying? So gummy, they're, earth, they're earthquake proof. What else is earthquake proof on this earth? Can you tell me something? Nobody can tell you nothing on this earth that's earthquake proof. Not a motherfucking thing, but the pyramids. Who built them pyramids? Okay, so let's not say niggas did. Let's say aliens built them. <laughs> let's say it all, right? Let's say aliens built them. What the fuck that tell you about the black man if someone would come from another planet to build a monument in its likeness? You feel me? So why the fuck ain't I learning about me then? So my the youngest got... The richest, oldest culture in the world, you feel but they're me? not teaching you about it. And self-esteem is a motherfucker, right? If you growing up being taught all you ever was was a motherfucking slave getting beat, you're going to be like, fuck shit. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if you learn like you didn't come from that young man, and if you want to be something great, this is what you have to be. Look at where you came from. That's a whole mental psyche. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I feel like it's vital to educate and to have schools because our schools ain't teaching motherfuckers that right now. So, hey, if I get some money behind it, I'm going to do that for my youth because I think it's important. Definitely. Because, not to, my bad, please forgive me, but it's not even just a black thing. That's just one thing. 
Because at the end of the day, the out of Africa theory proves that everybody came out of Africa. Everybody did. So why don't we learn anything about it? Everyone's history. Everybody's history is that. And that's only how we'll change shit in the future. Because ultimately, in my opinion, it's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? It, we need our souls to be as vast as possible. And with lack of education, then you, you know, you don't have respect for other individuals, basically, is what I'm getting at. You know what I'm saying? But when respect comes, love can come. But when you look at something that's lower than you already as it is, you're not going to have respect for it. You're not going to have love. And only how we're going to reach a certain vibration link is if we all are in love and harmony. That's only how we're going to get to 13. You know what I'm saying? And that starts with understanding that we all are one. We all are the same. But motherfuckers don't teach that. They want to teach dividing and conquering. You know what I'm saying? That's the oldest war tactic. We are at warfare as a human species. You know what I'm saying? To stay under the thumb of motherfuckers that's oppressing us and they keep us at odds because we all believe we divide. Right. It's not even always a race thing. It's a class, class issue. Thing. Because right. my homeboy, white boy Jake, is still get fucked up by the judge. You know what I'm saying? Right. It don't even matter. It's just, it's you know, like you said, the class shit. Yeah. And they look at, in classes, them motherfuckers look at niggas. When I say niggas, I mean people, period. They look at niggas like shit. Y'all little men. If you ain't up here with us 400, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? That's, what's That's what it's about. Hell yeah. What color that car? Yeah, George. Oh, some cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to say a word or phrase. You say the first thing that pops in your head. Yo, yo, yo. The first thing that pops in your head. Alright. Good. Music. Religion. Uh, silly. Music. Light. Kansas City. Home. Drums. Suck a shit. <laughs> Car. Rose. French. Bombshell. Bombshell. That's how I repeat it. Bomb shit. <laughs> That's how we feel a question mark. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, skip. Miami Heat. Be a witness and understand that you're witnessing greatness right now. Appreciate it. And thank God for LeBron James. This is remember you said a word or a phrase. This is all a phrase. <laughs> thank God for LeBron James because it helps me to understand they hate on Jesus Christ. They hate on LeBron James. <laughs> you know they go hate on you. They hate on LeBron. Be a witness. Be a witness. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> um, ice. Head ice from Harlem Battle Rapper. <laughs> streets. Ice. You said streets. Yeah. Uh, down north. Alright, that's all I got. Ah, okay, okay. You should throw some others. G Watts. G Watts. G Watts. Uh, you know, God fear man. Father, you know what I'm saying? Good guys. Yes. A man. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, uh, fire. Fire. The devil hates fire, Satan hates fire. It hates to see us on fire as a people, together as one. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, hates seeing us on fire as a people. That's why the devil hates fire, you know, that's his demise. Good people will burn the world with love, and he has to fade away. The Bible got game in it. So that's why I don't totally hate religion. The Bible got game, you just gotta dissect that thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's. It came from a real book. It came from the real one, the book of life that the Vatican is holding. You know what I'm saying? Shout out again to the Nubians. But even if it's fake and it's just a story, the greatest story ever told, evil will lose. Evil will lose. It has to happen. Even if, you know, the mother nature has to destroy the world again. You know what I'm saying? They found underground worlds, right? You know what I'm saying? Like in the ocean and shit. You know what I'm saying? They found dinosaur civilization been destroyed. God gotta destroy the world again, he will. 92% of the oceans unexplored. I don't even want what? to know what's going on down there. That's yeah. crazy for real. 75% of the earth and 92% of it they don't know shit about. 
See, we be swearing that we are so icy as mankind, and that's annoying. Nigga, you don't know shit. You just better be cool and show love and reverence the creator because we smart in this whole thing, but our souls is vast. That's what I feel connects with. That's why I said the fire shit when you said fire. Yeah, we go in. 